Hi all, this is about memory system consideration. Uh, that means we want to consider certain important points while physically implementing a memory system. The first one is to reduce the number of pins used while implementing a memory system. The dynamic memory chips are usually uh, follow this multiplexed address table. The address is divided into two parts. They are higher order address bit. Uh, usually select a row using this higher order address bit. Select a row in a cell array and it is provided first and last into the memory chips under the control of a RAS bar signal. So higher order, uh, we have a fixed number of address bits. The higher order address bits are uh, passed to the uh, decoding unit. Higher order some M bits are passed to the decoding unit and enable this decoding activity with the help of a RAS bar signal. Similarly, among these uh, same set of address lines, low order N bits of information are selected and passed to the column or uh, column decoder and this activity, decoding activity is enabled by the help of a CAS bar signal. Consider this one diagram. This is a mem uh, here we have a special unit that is a memory controller unit. The multiplexing of address bit is usually done by a memory controller circuit. The controller accept a complete address and read or write signal from the processor under the control of a request signal which indicate that memory access operation is needed. That means processor place an address information or pass an address information and also specify whether to perform read or write operation and send a request information after placing this information or passing this information to the memory controller. After receiving this address information and the read or write command to the memory controller, what the memory controller want to do? The controller can forward the row and column portions. After decoding, identify the row, sorry, after separating the row address part and the column address part, that uh, all these address informations are passed to the memory and generate or uh, generate RAS and CAS bar signal in order to start the decoding operation. Okay. After decoding operation, the requested operation performed with the help of, uh, sorry, after uh, decoding, uh, fix a particular row and column and start the requested operation. Okay. In order to perform the requested operation, the memory controller uh, also want to forward the received command. Whether it is a read or write command, it is passed to the memory block. Okay. While using this DRAM chip, which do not have a self-refreshing capacity, usually DRAM, uh, dynamic RAM needs some refreshing in order to retain its stored content for a long period of time. But this DRAM has no self-refreshing capacity, so memory controller has the responsibility for performing the refreshing, periodic refreshing operation in order to retain the data stored in the memory for a long period of time. Okay, so also the processor, uh, also processor passed the, uh, pass the clock information in order to perform the operation. All these types of informations are received by the memory controller first and forward to the memory. And after extracting the data, the data transfer takes place uh, directly between the processor and memory without the intervention or involvement of this memory controller. Okay, all the command and control and clock informations are passed to the memory by the processor with this intermediate memory controller unit. Memory controller unit uh, supports for the decoding activities and uh, uh, supporting for passing control information and commands and chip select activities and all. After fixing a particular row and column, the memory can directly transfer or the processor can directly write data to the memory. That means data transfer takes place between the processor and memory uh, directly without the involvement of this memory control. Okay. Thank you.